All right, does everyone here remember how to use uh, diffraction grating? So uh, before I turn off the light, this is how you should be holding it, horizontal wise. Put it right in front of your eye, and I'm going to ask you to look at that after I turn off all the other sources of light in the room. Maybe I should actually just turn this off. Yeah. So this is an example of what's called the black body radiation. And um, what's easy to me is when you are looking at black body radiation just on its own, say it looks red. So easy to think red is the only color there. That's why you have the diffraction grading. Look at it with a grading and see if uh, you can locate the locate the um, the diffracted light. So you know, as you look at it straight, you shouldn't see anything strange. But look, maybe about I don't know, 30, 40 degrees to your right, you should actually see a flame. That's uh, kind of uh, in the middle of a spread out thing. Do you see that? And do you see the spread of all the colors? Like, do you see green or blue color in there? You see, definitely see green, right? OK, now let me do this. I'm going to turn off the flame so that all you see is the glow of the stainless steel. But you know it's going to cool down pretty quickly. I wanted everyone to be ready when I turn off the flame. Everyone ready? OK. Let me turn off the flame. So that's a black body radiation. No flame, just a very hot object emitting light on its own. And as you look at, okay, I don't see blue anymore. Do you see green? Yeah. yeah. You see green and yellow, right? So what you're looking at, that's a black body spectrum. And I mean, how many here, everyone, anyone still looking at it? Everyone had a chance to look at the black body spectrum? So the different colors? Okay, good. Um, so how many here remember seeing an object that glows because, oh, sorry, were you still looking at it? How many here remember looking at an object that was glowing because it was hot? Like, it was that, that's not the only time you've seen that, right? Where else have you seen that? Stuff? Yeah, electric stuff. So black body radiation is a quite common phenomenon. It, you see it all the time. <laughs> I, you know, I do this uh, as a demo as if it's something that's rare. It's not. Um, and so, so we, I think we treat this very briefly. Um, an object that is hot emits radiation. When we do thermodynamics in physics 4B, we talk about three different ways of transferring heat. Um, there's conduction, convection, and the final one is radiation. And I know in my class we don't quite spend a lot of time on radiation um, in case there are other instructors who do it differently. Do people remember what um, you know about, well, what do you know about radiation? Like what factoids have you been told in physics 4B that you still remember? There's a T4 equation. There's a T4 equation. So when you, yeah. So this is what you might know about something called the black body radiation already. If not, that's fine. Um, so you have uh, this um, expression that somehow the rate of power transfer, so I guess a rate of heat transfer was proportional to T4, T to the fourth power. And um, it's actually called, uh, there's a name for it. Uh, I like to give names because that's how you search for things. If you want to search it, it's hard to search for T to the four. <laughs> but if I tell you that there is something called Stefan, am I spelling Stefan right? I may be spelling Stefan wrong. Stefan Boltzmann Law. 
which says that intensity of black body radiation, so intensity of black body, and you remember how intensity was defined, power per area, is given by sigma. This is the Stefan Boltzmann constant. We'll just look it up. <laughs> sigma times t to the fourth power. So this is something that, you know, you depending on your instructor, they may have covered it, they may not have. I know I don't cover it because you don't really do anything with it. 